welcome to Glitter and Glue Sticks. My name is Becky. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And to my longtime friends and subscribers, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna recreate some Valentine's Day Pottery Barn dupes. And you know we're gonna do them for a lot less. So if you like getting that high-end look on a low-end budget, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. For our first Pottery Barn dupe, let's recreate this boxwood heart wreath set of three for $129 on Pottery Barn site. It's really cute, but there's no way I was going to pay $129 for this. So let's recreate it using Dollar Tree items. First, I picked up these tensile hearts that were over in the Valentine's Day section. Took them apart by breaking the rings that were on there and then took the tinsel off the outside. Once all the tinsel is off, we're going to take and cut all the little nubby things off the outside of the heart and on the inside of the heart. We're going to do this for all three of the hearts. I then took my hearts and spray painted them green, just in case any of the plastic of the heart would be showing through. Once the paint dried, it was time to cover them up with my boxwood floral. I picked this up at Walmart. It was the cheapest place that I could find it, and it ended up taking four packs total. I started out the bottom and glued my boxwood on to the plastic form of the heart. Just try to keep all of your boxwood going in the same direction and work your way around. Once you got one side of the heart done, then start on the other side at the bottom and do the same process. Once you have all your greenery glued on all your hearts, then you're going to glue them together using a ribbon from the back. Now we need to just make three finger bows, one for each of the hearts. And here's how our heart wreaths turned out. Around $10 versus Pottery Barn's $129. I think we did great. For our next Pottery Barn dupe, we're going to recreate this heart-shaped wood cheese board. It retails on the Pottery Barn site for $155, but you know we're going to make it for a lot less. I started off by finding our wood board at Dollar Tree. It was in the plus section for $5. On one side, it had printed love, so we're just gonna flip it over and do our painting on the back. So I started off with my painter's tape and taped it off in the pattern that Pottery Barn's heart-shaped cheese board was, and then we're gonna paint it with white chalk paint.
After our paint had time to dry, then just tear off the painter's tape and look at that. It looks so much like the Pottery Barn one. For our third Pottery Barn dupe, let's make over this Artisan Studio Heart Object. It retails on the Pottery Barn site for $59. I started off by getting one of these heart boxes at Dollar Tree and I cut the point of the triangle off at the bottom. Once I did that, I glued the two box or two parts of the box, the top and the bottom together, and then I made a little riser to set it on. I'm going to now cover it up with paper mache using paper bags and Elmer's glue. Once all my paper mache had dried, then I used some hot glue to glue it to my wood round from the bottom. My heart still looked a little rough to me, so I took some spackling and just skim coat it over the whole heart to smooth it out a bit. Once my spackle had dry, I took it down to the basement and used some stone texturing spray to go over it to give it a little bit more dimension. And lastly, I used some beige and white and gray paint to give it a little bit more dimension and to make it look a little bit more similar to the Pottery Barn site. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? I think it's super cute. For our next dupe, let's recreate this cozy heart pocket pillow. It retails on Pottery Barn site for $56. I started off this by going up to my local Hobby Lobby and just picking out a pillow form. I didn't want to take the time and effort to make this. While there also, I picked up some red Sherpa-like fabric to use as my heart. First, I cut out my heart shape out of my Sherpa-like fabric. This fabric was getting all over everything. So I got ahead, I went ahead and got it cut, and then I took a lint roller to get up all the excess white fuzz that was on everything. Then I used some of my Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks and glued the heart shape to my pillow form.
And here's how our pillow turned out for about $6. And for our last Pottery Barn dupe, let's recreate this Love Script doormat. It retails on Pottery Barn site for $39. While at Hobby Lobby, I lucked out and all of their doormats were on sale for 50% off, so I got my blank doormat for $10. And I just freehand the love on there, just looking at my picture to get it as close to it as I could, and then I covered it in with some white chalk paint. And this is how she looks on the front porch. What do you guys think? I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Have a great week.